Now, ramipril is what we class as an ACE inhibitor. Now, the ACE enzyme releases the angiotensin 2, which narrows the blood vessels, causing the heart to pump harder to pump blood around the body. So by ramipril inhibiting the ACE enzyme, it reduces the narrowing of the blood vessels, again, causing the hearts to relax. So ramipril comes in a 2.5, 5 milligrams. You can also use a 7.5 milligrams by taking a 5 milligram and a 2.5 milligram dose together. And the highest dose for ramipril is 10 milligrams. Now, what you find is that in, black, in some black people, they lack the enzyme for ramipril to work, which is the enzyme called renin. So basically, a few proportion or a few numbers of black people are unable to take ramipril. So you'd realize that if you're taking ramipril and your blood pressure is not coming down, it could be that you lack the enzyme for ramipril to work. So you need to be taking off ramipril and put on an alternative blood pressure medication. Now, common side effects of ramipril include a dry, tickly cough. So if you have a cough that's persistent and has been going on for a few months, then you'd have to suspect that it might be due to ramipril. Other side effects include a skin rash, which might be itchy and feeling dizzy as well, headaches, diarrhea, and ramipril is not just a blood pressure medication. Ramipril is also used in diabetics who have chronic kidney disease. Ramipril has been shown to reduce mortality or death rates in those with heart failure or heart attacks. Again, in those who are unable to tolerate ramipril, you might want to try another drug from the same class, such as captopril, enalapril, lisinopril, or there is the cousin of ramipril, known as the angiotensin receptor blockers, such as your losartan, candesartan, and they pretty much work under the same principle as the ACE inhibitors. 